Okay, so I have this SVG set up. Um, I have a smiley face and I have a rectangle drawn. I have turned the SVG's background color light blue so you can see where the edges are. And I want to apply some additional rotations to these guys. So I'm going to, um, I mean transformations, I'm going to rotate them. So I'm going to show you first the smiley face. I have selected the left eye and a hover because I want to put a transition on this so you can see it happen slowly. Let's make it three seconds. And I want to rotate this guy. So let's do transform, rotate, let's do 180 degrees. Okay, so let me show you what that looks like right now. I hover over this eye. Oh, it's going off to the left. Um, that's because if this guy had a rectangular bounding box around it, it would be rotating about the upper left-hand corner. Um, a lot of times that's not what I want. I actually want it to be about the center. So um, with a circle, that's easy to figure out. I'm going to go down, look at where the left eye center is. Well, the white is basically the center of the eye. So I'm going to look at CX and CY. It's 124 and 125. So I am going to tell this guy to transform the origin so that it's 124 and 125. Now it should rotate about its center instead of its upper left-hand corner. So it's turning and looks like the pupil is going around. Um, so that is a rotation with a circle. It's easy to make it rotate about the center. With a rectangle, we're going to have the same problem. So let me show you that. Transition, 30 seconds. Let's transform this guy. Rotate 180 degrees. Here we go. Over. It's going about its left hand, upper left hand corner. Also weird. Um, sometimes maybe you want that, but maybe you want it around the center. So I got to figure out where's that middle point. Um, so mathematically, I'm going to have the middle point be. Oh, excuse the phone ringing. Basically, I got to set the middle of the x coordinate to be wherever the rectangle's x was, plus its width divided by two, and then for its y whatever its y was, plus its height divided by 2. So I'm going to go down and look at this rectangle that I've got. Where did I have them sitting? So I'm going to seal this so I can see it, and I have to scroll up and down. Let's put this right here for a second. All right. So I need to transform the origin of this rectangle um, so that the x is 50 plus 200 divided by 2. So that's 150. And 50 plus 50, so 100. And let's see if it behaves better now. Yep, right about the middle. So it rotates right around its center point. Um, so those are rotations. I can also scale, um, which means make it bigger. So what scale looks like is this. So I'm going to change this rectangle from a rotation um, to a scale. So let's get rid of this guy. Um, and I can scale in one dimension by selecting specifically X or Y. Or if I just use plain scale, that means scale in two dimensions. And it wants the X scalar and then the Y scalar um, with commas in between them. So if I want to make it twice as big, I'll do 2, comma 2. And now when I hover this guy, he should grow Yep, to twice as big as he was, which actually puts him outside the bounds of the SVG. Okay. Um, I can skew it, um, and I can skew X or skew Y, or do both at the same time. So if I leave it like this, it'll do um, by degrees. So let's do 15 degrees and 15 degrees for X and then Y. Show you what that looks like. So it sort of stretches the corners um, and pulls it into a parallelogram. Um, and also, I can mess with the colors and have a color fade happening. So on my SVG, the way that I'm getting color is through fill. So I want to choose that property and change it. So here I can put fill and a new value. So let's just fade it to blue. And since I have this transition on it, it'll slow it over time and it'll look something like this. So it'll fade through purple and right over to blue. Um, so those are some other transformations that you can do on SVGs.